Hey there, internet. I wanted to tell you, 100% June 5th, Apple is going to be releasing a virtual reality headset. Now, I bet you're wondering, Kevin, how do you know this? How is it 100%? Have you seen this thing? Have you tried it? Well, I'll say this, 100% because of the fact Apple has invited VR journalists from Road to VR, Upload VR, a number of different folks are going to be there. They got the official invite from Apple. They've never been invited to a worldwide developer conference that Apple's held before. So obviously there's gonna be something virtual or augmented or XR related that they're gonna be presenting. And everyone thinks it's probably gonna be a headset, but I wouldn't expect something like this. Instead, you're probably gonna be looking at something more like this. It's gonna end up having a wire that will go to a uh, pocket like a, uh, phone or device that will actually be running it and this way you don't have all the weight on the front of your face it's going to be a lightweight front facing device and it's going to be kind of like the magic leap for how it, it uses all the power from the actual device that you're going to keep on your pocket right and uh, this is pretty much how it has to go because of the fact that apple has said they don't like these big bulky things tim cook has said that and they want something more like glasses I imagine it will have all the apps that you would have on your iWatch, but maybe not all the apps you would have on an iPhone. It will probably cost around $3,000 because it needs to be more expensive than the most expensive iPhone, which is around $2,000. And it's also basically like a computer that you're going to carry around in your pocket, so it needs to have that cost factor for that device, for this. It's a new thing, right? So you're gonna see maybe people walking around with this thing in public areas because it is so lightweight, because you don't need to plug into a computer. And perhaps maybe it will have the ability to do pass through and work outside. A lot of VR headsets have had issues working outside in parks in the real world environment because of sunlight and other things like that. But again, maybe Apple's going for more AR related stuff with a type of glasses thing and a display over it. I don't know for certain. I haven't seen it. I do know Steve Wozniak. I can email him and maybe ask him. He probably has no idea either. Very few number of people do know for sure. But that is what I think it will be. I wanted to let you know. If you found this informative, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button to stay up to date on the latest tech rumors and secrets. I also want to say I don't think anyone who is a journalist going to the Worldwide Developer Conference will ask Tim Cook either of these two things. One, what type of long-term testing did you do for safety with the VR device? No one has the sand in their sack to be able to ask that. Number two, what does this mean uh, in terms of the amount of radiation you're exposing your brain to when you use this device? Ain't nobody going to ask that. I also don't think that you're going to see uh, anything really 360 video or VR 180 related with the camera or with the device because they're not inviting any 360 people, only people who do VR gaming. Uh, so none of, and even the VR gaming people, like some of the top VR gamers on YouTube did not get invited. So it might be more application based, trying to make it something that is work related, but I don't think that there's going to be a 360 video playback deal with it. I don't know. Maybe there will. I would be happy if there is. But at $3,000, I don't think they're going to get a lot of people who are going to buy it. It's going to be kind of like the early days of the iPhone in 2007, if you think about it. There was the recession around that time. Not many people bought an iPhone in 2008 because they were suffering financially. I think the same thing happening right now with inflation and everything in the stock market, basically. And part of that is why Apple does need to put out the VR headset now, too, because they need to pump their stock a little bit, and this will help them. So anyway, there's your, your little tidbits of advice. Again, if you found this informative, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. It might be over here, not over there. And have a great day. Write me a comment or a question below, and I'll, I'll try and answer it in the next video. Have a good one. I'll see you all later. Go, go Celtics.